Hey everyone, it's Ash from Creative Mending and today I get to bring you this Copic Marker review video. That's right, after all these years of looking at them and wanting them, I've only played with them one time previously and I love them so much, but I couldn't imagine spending that money on Copic Markers. Here we are in 2019 and I decided I'm going to buy myself. 20 Copic markers. Okay, since I made this video, I've actually added 10 more to my collection. But let's not talk about that. I do want to briefly mention that this is a Santoro London stamp and I'm actually going to be releasing a new video in the coming weeks talking all about how you can stamp and things like angel policies and all that fun stuff. So we'll leave that for a different video. So the first thing I wanna mention about Copics is there are three different kind. You've got Copic Classic, Copic Chow, and Copic Sketch. I ended up going with the Copic Sketch because I liked the way that the nibs were set up right out the box and I also preferred the cost as far as when you're purchasing refills over the years. I don't want to get too deep into that because there's a lot of information online so definitely give it a Google and make sure that you choose the markers you want because when you're dropping this kind of money on art supplies, it's just worth doing all the research that you can. Another thing I want to mention about Copic markers is that they are alcohol based and they might not interact the best with the papers that you already have at home. Please don't try to use these on Xerox paper. You should definitely check out Bailey J. She made a video all about different papers and did some great swatches that you can check out. I'm gonna drop that link for you in the comment box. Please check her out. If it wasn't for her, I don't think I would have been quite ready to finally make my investment in the Copic market world. It's kind of weird trying to make a review about Copic markers simply because they're such a versatile and great tool. So what I'm gonna tell you is what brought me onto Copic markers, which was the blendability and this sort of depth that I could get. Whereas with you know watercolors, I have to prep the paper and dry the paper and then you know, you're stretching it out and you're doing all these things that you have to prepare just to be able to actually create your art. And I just wanted something that I could take out and get straight down to the fun stuff, which is coloring. I've always loved coloring. And, you know, sometimes when we're artists, we kind of move away from things that we really care about generally in the direction of where can we make money with our art. So coming to Copics was actually my way of really removing all of the stress that I get whenever it comes to my dolls. I care so much about my doll work that I can really put a lot of pressure on myself. So coming into the world of Copics was like traveling to my childhood and I don't regret a single purchase that I've made so far. Through all the years of doing both digital and traditional art, I have gotten this very sad, bruised indentation on my finger. And that's due to most mediums being round shaped at the barrel. It's really cool how the Copic sketch markers have an oval shaped barrel. It feels so much more ergonomic and I'm able to achieve most of my art goals with a lot more comfort, which makes it a lot more fun. In terms of affordability and keeping your costs down, I definitely recommend checking out some of the sellers online 
there's a lot of opportunities for purchasing Copic markers in bulk. I purchased my sets at the cost of 10 for $40, so that's roughly $4 a marker, which is way cheaper than even going up to, say, Hobby Lobby and using the 40% off coupon for a single item. I would say Copic are the best that you can get. That's kind of why I've held off this long on purchasing them. I'm one of those believers that you don't have to buy a whole lot of very expensive art supplies, but sure enough, sometimes it is worth holding off on buying a lot of cheap art supplies so that you can afford investing in some of the higher quality products that are out there and will last you so long. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Ash from Creative Mending and I hope that you'll like and subscribe to my channel. Definitely leave a comment if you like this video because I'm excited about making more of them and I love seeing what you guys have to say. Have a great day. I know I am going to have a very great day.